Hello and welcome to another video and in today's video we'll be looking at switch statements in Golang. A switch statement is a shorter way to write a sequence of if else statements. It runs on the first case whose value is equal to the condition expression. And switch statements express conditionals across many branches. So let me show an example. Here we have a function main and what we'll do, we'll create one variable i colon equal to let's suppose 2 then what we'll do we'll just call the switch statement and switch statement will have will either have a condition or it will now not have a condition for the beginning we'll just have a condition for suppose we'll pass i here open close curly braces inside here we have to give our cases so we'll have one case which will have uh, 1 and then if it is like that then we'll just print it's 1 okay so same way we'll have one more condition for suppose case 2 and what case 2 will have it will print two in letter format and then we'll have third condition as default so if nothing matches then we'll print its default so let me explain you first so this case one in the switch we are passing the i so i has value two so the case will check the i's value so for suppose it is one then it will run one if it is two it will run two let's turn and see it is printing two what if we make the i value as one now if you go ahead and run this it will print one so this is a simple example of how switch case works now let me show you one more example uh, we, in here we'll use a time library so let's import that and what we'll do we'll just comment out this one and below we'll write we'll call a switch statement and in here we'll call time library time dot from here we'll get function now then we'll call one more function dot weekday so what this will function will return it will return today's uh, weekday and this will be our condition for switch statement and inside for the case what we can write we'll just check if the time dot Saturday or time dot Sunday then we we'll just print that it's a weekend And one more case we'll put as default this will be saying it's not a weekend so if you go ahead and run this it will say it's not a weekend here you can see that we have included more than two expression in the case statement that you can do uh, provided you put a comma in between these two or more conditions one more thing is that in other languages we have seen that we use break in order to uh, break the cases after it executing and it, uh, to not allow all the cases to run 
we put break in every cases in other other languages such as C C plus plus. But in here we don't need to have that because the Go language does it implicitly. So only one case will run at a time in GoLang. So that you have to keep in mind. So you don't need to give break statement. Huh, but you can give break statement if you want to take the control out of this case. For example, if you have one more logic, suppose you have printed fmt.println, for example, hello, welcome. And if you don't want to print this hello, welcome, and you just want to come out of the switch statement after the printing, it's a weekend, you can put break here. If you go ahead and run, uh, this will run, it will not run because it's not a weekend. We we'll just copy this and we can just paste it here. And if you go ahead and run this, it will run, it's not a weekend, it will come out. And if you remove this break and if you run this, you can say it is between hello welcome also. So this is the beauty of break statement. And now let me show you one more example. In this we'll use a uh, hours. So using hours we can find out uh, if it is a uh, afternoon or it's night time. So let's just call the time dot now function t colon equal to time dot now and keep in mind that we don't need to give condition if you don't want so i'm just keeping this condition that is also allowed colang implicitly finds out that uh, we are passing the t inside here because the cases will be dependent on t dot hour and if it is less than 12 let's let suppose then we'll print it's before noon same way we'll have a default and default will have it's afternoon for example if you go ahead and run this you will get it's before noon because the time is 11 30 right now as you can see here and here you can see that the case expression can also be a non-constant so we are calling functions here so it's not a constant so you can also use non-constant here and you don't need to give switch uh, condition or switch expression here every time you can just keep it if you want and one more statement I will show you is fall through so for example if you give one more case here case t dot hour is equal equal to for suppose 12 we will just say fall through and what this actually does is the fall through will take the control from this statement to the next statement so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video